Hey everyone! So this is going to be my last video before the holiday slash vacation and um, I have some things that I want to talk to you guys about um, a few different issues so I better get started and talk fast um, first of all I just <laughs> First of all, I just wanted to show you, um, this is Essie Ballet Slippers. I have wanted this polish for such a long time, and I finally got around to getting it. It's a, a pale, milky pink color. Um, if you've been to Ulta and you've seen the Essie section, Essie sure likes pink. They must have, oh my gosh, um, at least 15 shades of just pink nail polish. So I finally got Essie Ballet slippers. That is a classic. And then um, yesterday I went to Sally Beauty Supply and um, renewed my membership and I bought um, Ion Color Solutions shampoo and conditioner. Um, if any of you have ever tried this, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Um, last time I colored my hair, I missed a section. Up at the top of the crown, right here, I missed, uh, I just, I don't know, I missed that spot. So I was noticing the other day that I had a big, like, gray area up there, and I was like, oh my god, I cannot go to number one Thanksgiving, number two um, Las Vegas looking like that. So, um, even though it had only been about three weeks since I colored my hair, I colored it again today. And this time I tried a, a shade I have never tried before. This is called Champagne Blonde. And I like it. And hopefully these products will keep it the same color so that it won't change throughout the month. Um, I was very bad about just using whatever we had in the house for shampoo and stuff. Um, we had collected a bunch of shampoo and conditioner from our little trips and stuff. Those, you know, those little bottles they give you in the hotel. Well, we always would gather them up and take them home with us and then use them when we got home. But those aren't for color treated hair, so I really should not be using that stuff. So my husband will use it. <laughs> so I've got this. And then, um, I don't know if I told you guys or not, I, I know I mentioned something about wanting to make partner, but I don't think I told you that I actually filled out an application and I'm waiting to hear back from YouTube, so keep your fingers crossed that I get it because I work very hard on my channel. You know I put up a lot of videos and I try to make it a variety of things between product reviews and hauls and giveaways and now a contest if you didn't see yesterday's video check that out I'm giving away an Urban Decay Naked Palette um, and um, I try to do like top 10 videos and all kinds of different stuff I, I try to make it the best channel that I can you know sometimes it's not easy but I do work hard on my channel and um, this if I were to make partner that would be like recognition for the hard work that I put into it so that would be great if I made that and I've heard from friends of mine that already are partner that the longer it takes them to get back to you the better your chances are of getting approved so it's been over a week since I applied and I haven't heard anything yet so that's a good sign um, so if it, keep your fingers crossed for me um, let's see, I got, I got little notes here written down because I wanted to make sure I talked to you about all the things I wanted to talk about. Uh, the contest, I, I'm really, really excited about this. Um, the entries are rolling in, well, entry, last time I checked it was one so far, but, um, I'm really excited about this. Uh, this is going to be so much fun watching the entries and, um, I, I don't think I'll be able to watch any while I'm on vacation. Um, we'll see. You know, it, when I get back, though, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch all of them and uh, make a decision. But um, I'm really, really psyched about this contest. I, I just think it's going to be so fun to watch all these videos. And whoever wins, I'm sure I will subscribe to you and be looking forward to more videos in the future. Um, 
let's see what else uh, the last thing and I hate to end this video on a sour note but I do have to bring this up and that is um, if you've been watching me for a while then you know that I did a video a uh, few months back um, it's not there anymore so don't bother to look for it I deleted it um, and it was about animal testing um, now don't worry this is not going to be a lecture or anything like that if that's what you're thinking I had said a few months ago that I wasn't going to buy any more products by companies who test on animals or companies who are owned by companies who test on animals and I've been doing this for quite a few months now and this is just it's not working out and I feel bad because I know that a lot of you are going to be disappointed some of you may even unsubscribe if you are um, an animal rights person who feels very strongly about this and I respect your opinion and right to do so um, and I kinda wouldn't blame you because I feel really guilty about this but to sum this up because I don't think I probably have that much time left um, for many different reasons uh, and I could go into the details and list them all but it would take forever I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to buy products by all companies, whether they test on animals or not. Um, it, they make it very hard for you, first of all, to find out if they test or not. Um, there are lists out there, but they're not complete. Uh, so if you're trying to find out if a company tests on animals, it's sometimes very difficult to find out. But honestly, um, I can't imagine myself not ever buying anything by companies who make products that I really enjoy. Um, oh, let's just grab what's in front of me, for example. Maybelline the Falsies Mascara. This is the best mascara I've ever used. And the thoughts of not being able to buy it again when this runs out it bothers me it bothers me a lot and I know that's selfish because I should be thinking about the animals but what can I say um, I feel wicked guilty about it and you know don't try to talk me out of it in the comment section or anything I've made up my mind it was a, a rash decision and I know it was the right decision to stop buying products by these companies but I just can't do it I'm too selfish I guess um, I don't have it anymore because I used it up, but the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base, that was the best damn foundation primer that I have ever used. It was fantastic. And when it was gone and I switched over to the things that I have, um, I don't know. I just, I miss it so much. Um, uh, you know, I could go on and on. There's so many great products by... Uh, NARS, NARS Blush. Uh, NARS doesn't test on animals, but they're owned by Shiseido, who do test on animals. NARS makes the best damn blushes that money can buy. Oh my god, I just, I love them so much. I have orgasm and deep throat, and I think they're great, but you know, I would love to get more. I would love to try more NARS products. Lip glosses, eyeshadows, um, you know, and on and on. But how can I do that if I'm boycotting them? Um... So I'm very sorry for anyone who's disappointed in me, but I'm going to start buying products by companies who test on animals again. And when you see them, the products in the haul videos or whatever, uh, I don't feel good about this, but I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't restrict myself. Oops, I color my own hair and I had switched to Revlon because that was the only company that didn't test on animals that you could buy like at the drugstore and I really hated the results you know I kept getting all this red in my hair and then I had to adjust it with Clairol Shimmer Lights shampoo Clairol tests on animals so I shouldn't have even been using that but I, that was the only way I could fix my hair so today when I colored it I went back to using um, L'Oreal and you know I don't agree with their standards for animal testing and that but they do make really good hair products um hair color hair coloring products so uh hope okay hopefully i haven't gone over my time but everybody have a wonderful thanksgiving 
and um, get those videos in because if you think that you don't have a chance to win, you would be wrong because I don't think there's going to be as many entries as what you think there are. So you have a very good chance of winning this palette if you submit a video. Um, so everybody have uh, a great holiday and I'll see you when I come back from vacation. And I hope you're not too disappointed in me about the whole animal testing thing. But, you know, whatever. You got to do what you got to do or you feel the way you feel about it. And that's how it is. So hopefully you'll understand. Bye, you guys.